I'm Natalie from the edtechwizard.com and welcome to my channel. Here you will find videos all about using technology and games to help you become the best online teacher you can be. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to share a portion of your Zoom screen or your screen with Zoom. And really, this is the only way I share my screen when I'm teaching my online students. So I'm going to show you how to share your screen, just a portion of it in Zoom, and when you should use this for sure. So let's jump in. So I am here in Zoom. Sorry you can't see me right now, but you are ready. You're teaching your class. You are having an awesome lesson, ready to share your screen. So go hover down here to share screen. It will bring up this option and you need to go to advanced. And here is this magic button portion of screen. You're going to click that and your screen will look like this. I have a green box now. Um, so this is the teacher view. This is what I see, but this is not exactly what your students see. So with this, your students see whatever is inside of this green box and I can't adjust it. So I'm going to adjust it to whatever I want my students to see, whether that's my slide in Google, my slide in Canva. I'm going to fit that around. And what this allows me to do is have full access to all of my tools and slides on the side. And in, if you're using Canva, you have your slides on the bottom. I can now drag and drop anything on my screen. So sharing a portion of your screen is great for anything you have or want to move on your screen. And I can jump from slides to slide. But to my students, it looks like I hit this present button and I am in present mode. But to me, I have all my tools that I need off to the side to make this truly interactive and fun for them. And that is how you share a portion of your screen in Zoom. I use it all the time for activities that I really am moving stuff around. So drag and drop activities. Um, I have a game board and I have pieces that I need to move for students. I'm clicking between slides to answer questions and then go back to the game board. For sure, share a portion of your screen. Works for Google Slides, work for Canva. If you hit that present button in either Google Slides or Canva, you cannot move pieces on your screen. So that's why you share a portion of your screen. If you're interested in any game templates or whatnot that you've seen, please head to my Teachers Pay Teacher Shop where I do have some free ones down below. So be sure to check those out and happy teaching. Bye guys.